Hey guys, so let's review three-dimensional shapes and solids. So some shapes you might encounter on the SAT that are three-dimensional are cubes, rectangular solids, cylinders, cones, and right pyramids. What you'll need to know about these shapes is how to calculate the volume and the surface area for each of them. Volume is simply the area inside the shape. Surface area represents the outsides of the shapes. So, for instance, for cubes and rectangular solids, the volume is the length, which is this, times the width, times the height. For surface area, all you need to do is sum the areas of each side or surface. So it would be this rectangle here, plus the rectangle on top, plus the one on the other side, plus the one on the bottom, plus this shape here, and the shape opposite that side. For cylinders, you'll need to know how to calculate the volume, which is pi r squared h. r being the radius of the circle here, h being the height here. Another way to think about volume of cylinders is just the circle seen here times h. The same could be said for cubes and rectangular solids. It's just the width times the height, which gets you the area on this side, times length going this way. For cones, volume is calculated by taking 1 3rd times pi r squared h. So it's just the formula for the volume of a cylinder times 1 3rd. The radius for the cone is down here, represented at the base, and the height is just from the vertex to the center point in the circle at the base. To calculate the volume of a right pyramid, which is represented by a square and four triangles meeting at a vertex, the volume is length times width times height, all divided by three. Length and width are just the length and width of the base. The height is calculated from the vertex where all the triangles meet down to the center, the square base. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video on three-dimensional shapes. Here's some questions if you want to review some of the formulas we just went over. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.